everyone, it's Brenda. I wanted to come on and do a quick video with you guys today. Well, I don't know how quick, but pretty quick. Um, don't mind the hair. Sorry, guys. It's all over the place. Um, I wanted to share with you what I've been working on and say thank you to my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. You guys mean the world to me, and I can't believe my numbers are this high. Um, I'd love to hit a thousand, but, you know, hey. Um, I'm lucky enough I got this far. I'm so stoked. Um... But thank you guys for joining me and coming back and see me. I figured I would do a face video because I haven't done one of them in quite a while. And here it's getting close to the holidays um, and winter, which I'm not too fond of. But if you've been following me, um, all my links are below if you want to check me out anywhere else. And um, if you've been following me on Instagram, then you know that I had started this sweater quite a long time ago. Um, it is actually the flax sweater from Tin Can Knits. And I actually use just, um, what is it, panther pink is the color, and just regular black for the ribbings. And I kind of let this fall by the wayside, and all I had left was the one sleeve. Finally, I picked up the needles and said, let's just get it off. Um, and I, when it was done, it was kind of a stiffer material, and I was not very thrilled with it. So I threw it in the wash. <laughs> And then proceeded to put it in the dryer because sometimes it'll loosen it up because it's not a wool, so it's okay. Um, and I actually do like how it turned out. And I do like the neckline where it comes out just a little bit. Um, I don't like anything too close to my neck because I kind of feel like I'm choking. Although I do wear turtlenecks, so go figure. But they have to be loose. Um, I like more of a scoop neck. But. I do like how this came out, and the reason I'm sitting kind of a little bit further back right now is because I wanted to stand up and show you guys. I probably won't get all of me in here, but it actually does fit really good. I'm really happy with the material, and so you can see the pattern. I do, do really like it. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to try to pull you guys closer without making too much... Or getting anybody sick <laughs> but just so you can see what I'm going to show you guys here um, I've actually been pretty busy working on Christmas knits if you've been following the channel follow me on Instagram you've been seeing them um, yeah my hands have been super busy trying to keep them as busy I can um, except for you know down days for the flares um, let's see the first one I have is, of course, another hat. This is just a regular ribbed hat, and this is in a anthracite gray color, which I love this gray color. You can see the decreasing on the top. And it does make a circular, and then it doesn't keep the ribbing all the way up, which I do like for guys, because then it doesn't make like a star pattern. Um, I don't think many guys are okay with that. Um, I do have a few in my life that are, but I'm not sure. So this is the first one I wanted to make sure, and it's great. This is a uh, technical ribbing, so <clears throat> just plain ribbing. So it does stretch out pretty good, so it does fit a variety of sizes. The brim can be unfolded for the longer head, but it can be folded up. So this is a great hat to grow with you. So for the kids that are constantly growing, or the guys, you know, because boys shoot up, I've, in my life, they shoot up a lot quicker than the girls do. So that one I finished. And then these I <clears throat> have been trial, working on trial and error. And first I want to say thank you to Lori, who is craft and blind here on YouTube. And I haven't seen her lately, so Lori, if you're around and watching, I'm, I miss you. Um, <laughs> Yeah, she sent me a book a while back, and it has these in it, and I don't have the book with me right now, sorry. But if you're interested, I will link um, the book and the ISBN number. Um, I'll provide it to you if you're interested. But it tells you how to make these really cute ear flat mohawk hats. And this one I did <clears throat> an I-cord from the ear flap with the fur and it's not really fur it's actually just regular um, acrylic yarn because I know this is just gonna probably be thrown in the washer and then probably doused in the dryer and I didn't want it to mat up on the person who's getting it but it didn't I mean I don't get me wrong I do like it this is super super uh, warm Bernat uh, blanket yarn so 
It is super squishy and soft and it's in a light gray colorway. So I did uh, black and gray and it doesn't fray that well as you see, but it keeps putting me in the frame of mind as like My Little Ponies. Um, my daughter does really like it. Who it's intended to likes it, so that's fine. Um, I'm okay with that. But where I wasn't so completely okay, I went and I had to make another because I needed to try to better it for myself. And this round I did regular, um, I think it's, it's the same anthracite as the other hat, I, the ribbed hat I just showed you. And I made a regular base hat and put tiny ear flaps on it so it reminds me more of like, um, kind of the old Spartan helmets. And um, kind of like the one, <laughs> the night helmet that I did a while, a while back. Uh, if you check my uh, videos, you'll see it's a, it's a night helmet. And um, it's some um, scrap yarn I had that I picked up at like, I guess, Big Lots for a dollar. But, so this one's more of a form-fitting hat, not like a true helmet, but as a look-alike. And you can see how much more the yarn actually frayed and give it more like a hair look. And I was kind of worried, uh, the, the color was actually red, white, and burgundy, and this is what it looked like when you shred it. It comes out almost like reddish pink tones, but the person who wanted the first hat said they like this one too, so they're getting this one too because I can't decide, you know, which one, but I think they both look good. Oh, mind you, the, most of these hats are worked in pieces, and then you have to stitch them together, and they're not like a traditional hat where I just kind of work in the round. And these are all knitting. Sorry, I didn't, <clears throat> didn't specify. Um, but I have no crochet projects this round. Um, I have been working on them if you've been following my channel, and I actually have some more in the works that I want to work on. But we're going to see if I can get around to them. Um, so, of course, making those um, and stuff, they, they kind of do hurt my hands making them. But they are fun to make and I can get the base of the hat if I work on it um, from breakfast on and off throughout the day before bed. I could get the base of the hat finished. Um, it's just the yarn is thicker and it really put, takes a toll on my hands. Um, but my daughter, you know, the lover of crazy hats, fell in love with the Mohawk hat <laughs> that I was asked for. So I had to make yet another. Um, so I mean the piece hat, not the one that's worked in round, with the thick yarn that kills my hands, <laughs> with the eye cord and the frill. Um, this is actually a red heart yarn, and it's kind of like... Um, the Lion Brand Homespun. So it frizzes very, has a very nice halo, but you could shred it out um, like you would um, to like tease your hair. And this is what comes out with. She picked this colorway. It's called stained glass. It's got um, blues, teal, purple, gold, orange, yellow really 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 nice colors um if you check my halloween video i have i think i have the halloween video up i'm not sure if i took it down or not but from two years ago she actually crocheted a um excuse me oh, thought i was gonna sneeze um she actually made a shawl for her costume and a crochet for it she was a jester and she really loved these like mardi gras colors kind of I really do like how they came out, and you can see it. They're really cute, but to get it to stand, is you just you know, it kind of wiggles around like that. But yes, yeah, she <laughs> she is so in love with this, and I told her she's got to wait for Christmas, so she's she's a little down about that, but she's excited because that means when she goes back for her spring semester for college, she can show up wearing this. <laughs> she's a trip, um, but yeah. Those are what I have been working on for the most part, and um, I'll probably be back because I have another project that I am working on that I'm hoping to have finished up here shortly to share with you, and I have
have a bunch more to put on the needles that I'm interested in. If you guys, you know, haven't passed anything, if you're a knitter or crocheter or any kind of craft like that, let me know in the comments below, man. I'd, lo I'd love to hook up with some more thread type people too. And thanks again, everyone. If you have any questions or anything, uh, give me a holler. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I want to thank you all for joining me today. And I'm going to kind of ace it off the camera because I don't have time to edit this one. But be sure to join me in the next one. I would love to see what's up. And I'm thinking of a giveaway coming away soon. So stay tuned for that. And I hope to all see you all soon. Bye.